to find a way out of the longest slump of his coaching career, the winningest coach in Blues history, Joel Quinville, was relieved of his duties Tuesday afternoon. I met with Joel for this afternoon. We didn't spend a lot of time with each other. Um, times like that, sometimes there's not a lot to say. Uh, I just felt that uh, the way the team had been playing, that I felt the change was needed. In what can only be seen as a last-ditch effort to salvage the season, this move should serve as a wake-up call. But will this team respond? Stay tuned. Game two of the Mike Kitchen era begins next. The corner goes Osgood. The teams are changing. The corner goes Osgood. The teams are changing on the fly. Look out. Jabbar off a shot. He scores! No mistake, and the Canucks take the lead one to nothing. I believe this was deflected in front. In fact, it was Osgood that played the puck to the open side. If Osgood would have played this off the boards, you see how Osgood played it off his own man, Salvador. And right there, here was deflected right in front. Now, it might have been deflected by Doug Wade, even. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it was Doug Wade's foot that deflected that over the arm there of Chris Osgood, so it's going to be Chabarov's goal, but it's off Doug Waite's foot. So the Canucks score first, a freaky goal. Coming up to the nine-minute mark in the second, Linden carries the puck into Todd Bertuzzi to Marcus Naslin. One-nothing, Blues trail. Naslin, one-timer, Salo, and that's stopped by Osgood, and he gives Bertuzzi a little shove. Nothing wrong with letting Todd Bertuzzi know that you're there also as long as you don't mentally get out of your game. Good point, Kenny, that's exactly it. And here's the shot, no rebound. You see the deflection in front, and there was Osgood gets his arm up. But here's the chance, Kenny talked about that puck bounced right there over top of the stick of Marcus Naslin. I think there's gonna be a timeout call here by the Canucks. And he snaps one wide. Here's Breuer on the puck. Flips it around, far side, Kachuk and Olin there. Now to Mellonby. Mellonby with the puck. Gets it to Pronger behind the net in front. Oh, here's Kachuk, and he can't score. Oh, he hit the crossbar, he hit something. No, oh, I think he... Now there'll be a penalty here. Kachuk taken down, he's shaken up. Here's a shot, that goes wide. Osgood's on the bench. Kachuk is very slow to move. A penalty coming up against Vancouver. And here is Pronger with a puck. I think Hedberg made the save on Did he? That. Yeah, I believe so, Kenny. I, I, I was looking for the red light to go on. What a chance. Now the puck touched by Baumgartner and the penalty against Vancouver. But what a chance Keith Kachuk had just moments ago. Yeah, I believe that Hedberg made the save as he dove across. But the Blues are going to benefit with a power play. But here, to look at it, puck bounce right to Keith Kachuk. Yeah, I believe he got his glove on it, Kenny. Wow. He did? Yeah, here it is. Here's the dive across of the goal cap. There it is. Yeah, he put his hand up, and it just hit the webbing on his glove. So what a save by Hedberg. 15-23. Here's Sopel. Now Naslin. Olin and Sopel, Naslin, Bertuzzi, and this man, Henrik Sedin. Now Osgood has lost his stick. The shot, he scores! Olin Osgood losing his stick, and Olin scores on a long drive from the blue line, a power play goal, and it's two to nothing. Vancouver. Now Osgood was trying to knock the puck loose here. You see how Osgood lost his stick right there, it ended up behind the net, and then just the typical play to the side, and then Olin just blasted this one right through everybody and beat Chris Osgood to the blocker side. That's where he didn't have the stick. And here again, another look from the side angle, and it's 2 nothing Canucks. Petra, they've got to get two in a hurry. The puck knocked around and wide of Kachuk. Nine seconds. Now the Blues facing more than the impossible to Dimitra. The net knocked loose, and we'll have a faceoff. Now they're going to point out to center ice and they're going to call a penalty call a shot. Penalty shot here, with 3.4 seconds to go. The Blues are going to get a penalty shot, but it isn't going to help much either way. They're not going to score two goals, most likely, in 3.4 seconds. It's possible 
especially when you get a penalty shot if you can score here and get a face off but that's more than a tall order. Yeah, Brian Allen actually knocked the net off on purpose. You see right here as he knocked in that's a penalty shot in the last minute of play so he's trying to plead his case saying that he didn't but it was a good call by referee Stephen Walker so I guess we're looking at the difference between a shutout or a 2-1 game. Here's Demetra with a penalty shot. 2-0 Vancouver. And Hedberg makes the save. That puts an exclamation point on a very strong performance tonight for Swedish netminder Johan Hedberg. And they're on their feet here at General Motors Place in Vancouver. Well, Pavel Demetra, the classic move there. But he couldn't get the puck high enough, and that's a real good save. And Hedberg has been sensational all night tonight. And the net cam being fake, the deke, and the save with the catching net. So he's made three or four great saves tonight. And another real good one there on the penalty shot. Shots are 31-29 blues, but it won't be enough. A shot down the ice wide, and that's how the game ends. The Canucks win it. Two to nothing, and they take three out of four from the Blues in the regular season. Tonight's Bud Light Player of the Game. <laughs>